Hello, this is Jen from Internet Lessons. What I'm going to show you now is how to log in to your HostGator account, the one that you've just created. So what you need to do is go into your URL bar and type in the domain name of your website um, plus forward slash cPanel. This will then take you to the login screen for HostGator. So what you need to do is you need to put in the username which you assigned to the account when you set it up and also the password that HostGator will have emailed to you when you set the account up and enter them here. Then log in. In front of us here now we have the HostGator control panel. So I'm just going to run through a couple of the sections for you because it does look a little bit daunting at first but it is all separated into um, sections to help you find what you're looking for. So first of all, we'll just look at the preferences section and you can see that there's tutorials here and getting started with it. So it's always worth having a look at those if you're a little bit stuck and you want to try and solve a few problems yourself before having to go to the 24 hour chat. In this section, you can also change your password to make it something you might find easier to remember because mine is sort of a random combination of capital letters, uh, your lowercase letters and numbers. So you might want to change that. Um, in the mail section, this is where you can set up email accounts for your website. And that's why we didn't take it out with GoDaddy or the other domain registrar because you can put as many email addresses as you want to on with HostGator. Okay. Let's go down the page a bit more. The next thing I just want to mention is subdomains and add-on domains. Because initially I got a bit confused to which was which here. But basically an add-on domain is an additional domain. So if you want to have, say if I wanted to have internet-lessons.co.uk, it would be an add-on domain. Because my original one is .com, but I might want to add on .co.uk. I might want to have a second website with a completely different URL stored on here. So what I would do is I would add it through the add-on domains. Now a subdomain is something slightly different. I'll show you what a, a subdomain is. So what I've done is I've opened up a Google search and I've typed in success for you too. And if you look at this website here, success for you too, that is the main domain, the success for you too.co.uk, but the fitness part at the beginning is a subdomain and as you can see they've also got a weight loss dot success for you too as well so that is what a subdomain is if we scroll down a bit further down the page we can see fantastico now fantastico is something we're going to look at in another video because that's what we're going to use to install wordpress onto our website so we'll come back to that one in a later video and also I'm going to quickly find the name server information um, so that I can point it out to you. So here we go, under account information, do you remember when we talked about um, in the GoDaddy or the domain registrar video, I talked about changing the name servers of our domain name so that it pointed to our hosting. Well, this is the bit of information we need. This is the name servers for my hosting account. Now. Yours is going to be slightly different because yours will be a different number at the beginning here, I imagine. Um, won't be exactly the same as mine. So that is a bit of information that's worth noting down because we're going to change our name servers in another video so that we can get our domain names to point to our hosting. Okay, well that's a little brief overview of this control panel of um, HostGator. Um, and also another thing to just point out to you, it's very useful because you can get an information on your traffic. So here, for this um, domain name, this is the traffic that we've got. So um, it does all sorts of things for you. It gives you analytics, it lets you set up your emails, it lets you add subdomains, add-on domains, and no extra costs for all these sort of things with HostGator. So um, have a little look around and familiarise yourself with the control panel. And I'll see you in the next video where I'll show you how to change the name service for your domain name. This is Jen from Internet Lessons. Thanks for watching.